What is a join? A join in its most simplest form is literally a join or a merge between two or more tables. As you can see from the query here, is I've said, select two name columns from two different tables, namely the act table and the venue table. What I'm actually joining are the act, show, and venue tables, not just act and venue, because according to my entity relationship diagram structure, the act and venue tables are joined together through a many-to-many -many join resolution type table called the show table. So the blue arrows indicate the joins into the show table, and the red arrow indicates the final join of the three tables, giving you venue names and act names. In other words, many acts within venues. Join is actually executed by the where clause joins between the act and show tables on the act ID and the venue and show tables on the venue ID. Here's another picture of a similar thing. Other than that, this is simply data. What we're doing is we're taking the act data and the show data and joining them together. In this case, we have the IDs included as well. So this query does not exactly match this diagram. This query would actually change to include the IDs from both the act and venue tables. The correct query would actually be as shown here, A act ID, V venue ID, A name, and V name. Or to be more precise, since we have the columns name, we have the columns listed in order of venue and act, the query should actually appear as follows. So the correct query for this diagram is actually venue ID, act ID, V name, and A name, all joined from between the act show venue tables using this where clause joining act between act table and show table and joining venue between venue table and show table. Let's go a step further. This query you see down here is actually identical to this query up here. Note we've gone back to the simplistic form without the IDs in it. It avoids a certain amount of confusion. The point to note is that this is an Oracle proprietary format. It's a format that is owned by Oracle or not necessarily invented by Oracle, but it, it is the format that is used by Oracle and the Oracle database in order to provide the fastest reaction time for SQL code. Many databases, in fact all relational databases, generally have a form of SQL and then they have partial changes to the SQL syntax and language, mostly to actually tune the SQL code structure and construction to the physical structure of the underlying database. As we've looked at before, the American National Standards Institute format is really an institution that is non-profit that tries to implement standards, for instance, in languages such as XML, HTML, etc. They do the same with SQL. This is the equivalent format. We'll get into this later on, but all it's doing is it's joining the tables within the from clause. So we say from act, join to show, using a field, join to venue, using a field. This is the Oracle proprietary format. This is the ANSI format. The only problem is potentially that the ANSI format is difficult to tune with an Oracle database. The same would probably apply to all other relational databases, but not necessarily. The point to note is that when tuning Oracle SQL statements for high performance, the WHERE clause and the sequence of the joining in the WHERE clause is very important also, the sequence of the tables in the from clause is very important as well. We'll get to that in a later course on Oracle tuning. The only point I would like to make at this stage as far as the Oracle proprietary format, which is this red piece, versus the ANSI standard format, the blue piece, is you might want to be careful using the ANSI standard format globally throughout your application. It may be 
that the ANSI standard format becomes a standard in Oracle in a future release of Oracle? That I could not say. It's a very neat and tidy way of building joins. The code looks good, but it is not necessarily going to be possible to tune it, although that may be different in the future. Be cautious. A quick look at the concept schema. Potentially, we have a lot of scope for joins in this schema. For instance, starting with the act, the show, and the venue. The act and venue keys are stored as foreign keys in the show table. There is no direct hook between the act and venue tables. So the only way to stick act and venue together is to join act, show, and venue. Another join potential is the category table, where it can self-join to itself with a hierarchical type fish hook join, sometimes called a fish hook join. Another join is the join between the category and the show, and obviously another join would be a join between category, show, act, and venue. Another join is supporting act and act, where the supporting act table actually contains a duplicate of the act ID, but it is a supporting act of a specific act. Really what the supporting act table is is a resolution of a many-to-many -many join between the act and show tables, but not quite, because it is a third normal form many-to-many -many join resolution entity, which actually means something. It's a meaningful third normal form normalization, because it's called supporting act, not act under bar show. If you remember, we were talking about normalization. I was talking about meaningful third normal form. Obviously, we can set up joins with ticket and price we could even set up joins for the whole table set.